Hey guys, it's Kelly. I know it's late, but um, I was going through some papers I have on my desk. I have some like old stories I've written years ago, probably like middle school, beginning of high school. And there's a character in here that I named, you know, my little brother. I'm telling it to perspective of me, pretty much, but it's not like my name. I use a different name. I don't know where these names came from, but the little brother's name in it is named Jesse. Like, what are the chances? And this I know had to be written a lot ago, I can tell. Probably maybe middle school, like sometime in high school. But I didn't start watching Jesse until my senior year of high school, like end of senior year. You know, April of 2017. So, this is I know definitely before this. It's not date on here, but. And the way I spelled Jesse is J E S S I E, because that's how it always starts Jesse was spelled. But, like, that's only for a girl. So, but, like, I'm not making this up. So, okay, so I have that one, and here's another one. I want to know you guys' thoughts um, on which two stories I should choose from. This one don't have a name yet, I have to read through it all. But pretty much what I'm reading about, it's these like brother and sister, they move into a new house, and the house is haunted. I know there's been stuff like on TV before, but I don't know, I could put some cool twists in it and stuff. Like, would you like me to do something like that? Or This is a whole one too, I never finished it apparently. This doesn't have a um, date on there, but this was written a while ago. Pretty much one of my friends, Elaine, like we had a funeral for her. Like this isn't the story I've written, which I don't even remember writing this. But, um, you know, I, don't know, I guess it's like some weird house. And like we thought she was dead, but she ends up like coming back from the dead. Like she wasn't really dead. And then I don't know, it's a crazy thing. Like she was not really dead and like pretty much me and her fighting this house. It's like kind of almost like monster house like the house comes alive but i don't know i don't know if i want to keep it like that i might change it around keep it similar it's like the whole concept of like oh we thought she was dead but she's not dead you know like you know like we have funeral for her and then she like comes back from the dead like i don't know i mean it's interesting so i never went through the whole thing yes went through the first couple of lines of it and it seemed interesting to me um so yeah which one do you guys would like me to do a series on you know, let me know. Oh, sure, film. I don't know. But which one would you guys like me to do? Because why well, have to do a choose one? I mean, I would like to do both, but which one would do you guys prefer, at least for right now? I would have to, like, you know, look through it, write a script out for it and everything. Like, I would probably change some stuff in it, so. But yeah. I don't know. I like horror and stuff. Like, I'm really into horror and, like, you know, mystery and like thriller and stuff. So that's the type of series I would do on my channel. You know, I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, which one I should do. Like I probably would most likely rework the, um, this story. You know, like I wouldn't keep these probably the exact same how I written them. Mm -hmm. And then I just found this one. Apparently, I don't know. I didn't finish writing this one either. But the end is featured in it. Like I would obviously change the character names, but my friend, my mom was taking me somewhere like a surprise. Um, you know, I was bringing my friend, and we hopped in a car. And I don't know what the surprise is. I never finished writing it, but that's another type of thing we could explore. Like I said, I'm into the dark stuff and like ghost stuff and. You know, horror, so... Yeah, but let me know what you guys would want to see. You know, which one you would like me to see. And I can focus on stuff. That and stuff coming up with characters and plot points and stuff like that. But, yeah. Okay, I think I kind of know which one I want to go with right now. The one where Jesse's a character. I think that's the one I want to do. Honestly. But... Isn't that crazy? Like, what are the chances? You know, I named the character Jesse. I know, like, I mean, Jesse's not one of those common names here. I mean, how often do you hear the name, I was going to say the word, the name Jesse, you know? That's not a common name, if you ask me. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not anything. 
maybe it's a sign you know like why does sex things to do with jesse keep popping up in my life you know like i was just i just randomly come across this like i was just going through i have a bunch of papers on my desk here of like other stories where and i was just came across this when i started reading and all of a sudden i was like what i don't know like but just what are the chances you know like what like is do you guys think it's a sign that jesse you know things to do with jesse keeps popping into my life you know i don't know maybe it's coincidence but it has been so much like TikToks I come across on a for you page. I scroll through TikToks and it's been feeling your soulmate's initial or someone who you've been obsessing over. Like I'm having love and, and I would get Jay and stuff. It's just, I don't know. Like, I understand maybe two or three things to have to, you know, could do with him. Could be a coincidence. But there's been a bunch. Like just now with the name. Like, I don't know. I just feel like maybe this is a sign. You know, like. Because you know what's rare? Today I was thinking about kind of should I kind of give up on Jesse. Like, should I give up on, you know, because I love him so much and I would be with him. Should I give that up? You know, just accept I'll probably never be with him. Like, I was, act like, hand to, my right hand to God, I was thinking about that today. Then all of a sudden, I'm just sitting on my desk, you know, and I come across this. Like, come on. What is the chance of the end of the dude's name and it's Jesse? Like, I don't know. What if this is a sign, seeing that, like, I shouldn't give up on that? I don't know. I'm sure there's some of you who don't believe in that sort of stuff, science and stuff, but honestly, I really want to know your opinions on this. So I just don't know what to do anymore. Like, you know, I don't want this to consume my life, like me thinking, be with Jesse, and like, that's why I don't really try to pursue anyone else, you know? But that's not good either, so I don't know. I just, I need you guys' advice. But um, I do want to start a series, so I want to start writing the script, because maybe, you know, like, my thing is I need to get people in it, so maybe if I write a good script and stuff for a good plot line maybe then you know like some people in my family may want to be a part of it but i don't know and maybe that can help my channel grow you know but i really want if i do want to i want to break because i really want it to be good you know to look you know be as good as like jesse's you know that i just don't want to put on some you know put out something mediocre you know if i do a series or short film i need it to be amazing but so that's why maybe i can do that now that could help so let me know what you guys think uh, but do you guys think it's a sign you know do you guys think it's just coincidence i don't know but i just found how i was kind of think about that today because it was it's jesse's and ashley's two-year anniversary today and was, you know they wrote those cute coupley posts uh, whatever um but so when i was doing that that got me thinking should i just you know move on and then you know i was thinking about that a little bit today and all of a sudden like i said just trying my desk, looking through papers, reading some of my old stories I wrote, and I come up, this is like the first one I come across, and I was reading, and that's a character name, I don't know, maybe that's just some sort of a sign, but, I just, me and Jesse, like, I'm serious, we have a connection, like, even with just friends, like, we have a connection, and it's just crazy to me, like, that no one else seems to see it, you know, like, that I'm the only one that seems to see it. We have so much in common and stuff. Like, we're both creative people. You guys, if you've seen my story file, you've seen my writing skills. Like, I'm a pretty good writer. You know what I mean? Like, I can write a good story and, like, do series and stuff. Like, that's the thing. Like, we're both, I just feel like we have so many similarities. Like, we have this connection in. It's just, I don't know anymore, but. Um, Jacob, he didn't phone me today. He worked on some stuff in the music video. I wanted too soon. I just have to, you know, talk to my sister. I'm sure she will help me film stuff for it. So maybe next week and I can do that. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, I love you, Randomer, so much. Please follow me on all my socials. Follow Colin on Insta. Subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Rich. My hashtag EGP. Subscribe to always underscore Juggy. Um, subscribe to Dan. Subscribe to Jacob. I love you, Randomer, so much. Um, sorry if I seem off i'm just tired right now but um i love you guys um please subscribe please like please comment and i will see you animators in the next video peace